Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how can you merge data from multiple Excel files and make a single master out of it. Well, making a master Excel file from multiple Excel files is one of the most common data cleaning tasks that a lot of people do in Excel. Let's see how can we automate that using Power Query, which is one of the BI tools of Excel, the modern Excel. Now, I'm just going to take, take you over to my desktop where I have a folder called Shared Files. And I'm just going to click on shared files and let's just take a look at this folder. So in this folder, what we have is I have four odd different files here, uh, year 2005 data, six data, seven data and eight data. As of now, these are Excel files. These could be also text files or CSV documents. Now, apart from these, the Excel files, I also have a couple of other junk documents that are there in the folder because I'm assuming this is a shared folder and anybody and everybody can dump their stuff in the, in the folder. So what I have to do is I have to make a master out of the four relevant files that I have. Uh, and I also have to filter out the other kind of junk files that I have. That's one. Second, once I make the master document, which has the data from all the four years, I also have to automate the entire process so that I don't have to do it the next time. I have 2000 and maybe nine data. So let's just take a look at the, the Excel file. What kind of data do we have? Just take a while to open. All right. If you take a look at the data, the first column is your date. The second column is your sales rep. The third column is the customer amount, profit and the region. Now, and this is 2005 data. So all the records are from 2005, about 140 odd record items here. Similarly, if the exact same structure, no difference in the structure, uh, you would have 2006 data, seven data, eight data. So I'm just going to close it and let's just start with power query. Now, uh, my power query is in data tab because I'm using Excel uh, 2016. If you're using the prior versions of Excel, your power query most likely is going to be in the power query tab if you have installed it. Right. So in the data tab, I'm going to go from get data from file from a folder because I have to merge files from a folder. So I'll say from a folder. And this is just going to take a while for the power query to open up. It gives me, hey, where's your folder path? So I'm going to say my folder is kept on the desktop and the folder is kept in the shared files. And I'll say, OK, now, as soon as I'm picking up uh, this folder path, if there are any subfolders in the shared folder that I've just showed you, Power Query is also going to give me all the files in the subfolders as well, right? So uh, just letting you know. So I'm just going to say OK. And immediately, as soon as I say that, I'm going to have the list of all the files in front of me. But as of now, this is just a list of files. Uh, well, I've got nothing to do with the list, uh, but I need the actual content inside the file. So rather than pressing on combine or load, I'm just going to click on edit so that it opens up the Power Query editor from which is where from where I will kind of apply filters and get the relevant files. Now, as of now, you can see that I have all the files and their information. Now, I want only these four files. Now, there are two ways to go about it. One way is that I uh, go to the drop down and I pick up the relevant files that I need year five, six, seven, and eight. But if I apply the filters here manually, that means checking or unchecking the items, what this is going to do is this is only going to pick up these four files. But remember that apart from combining these four files, I have also have to set this up for automation so that when the 2009 data comes in, I don't have to do that again. So I'll play a trick and I'll kind of set up the filter smartly so that it removes the uh, content or the files that I don't need rather than actually picking the content that I need. So I'm actually left with the content that I need. So here is what I will do. I'll go to the extension. And I'll say that, hey, first of all, I'm looking at only Excel files. So it'll just give me a bunch of Excel files. Now in the Excel files also, there could be relevant files, there could be irrelevant files. Now, how do I identify the relevant files? Take a look that the pattern is that my file name is starting with year dash 20. So I'm just gonna make sure that I do that. So apply uh, another filter and I'll go to text filters and I'll say contains, contains what? contains year dash 20. Now you have to be extremely careful about uh, the way you type in Power Query because Power Query is case sensitive. So if you type Y uh, non capital and uh, because Y is capital here, Power Query is just going to throw up an error. All right, I press, I press OK. And you can see that on the right hand side, uh, the, the steps are being created. This is sort of like a macro recorder, but way more smarter uh, than than VBA. Uh, all right. So I have the four relevant files. If you need any further 
uh, intelligent filters uh, that you want to apply to your folders to uh, leave out the files that you don't need you have a lot of columns actually where you can go and apply the filter so if you wanted only a particular subfolder you can also apply the filter in subfolder path and things like that all right now that i have the files which i absolutely needed what i'm going to do is uh, i'm only going to keep uh, these files and remove the rest of the columns so you can see that binary means an excel file if i click here it shows me the excel file right here but uh, i don't actually need the name of the file i need the content inside the, of this so i'm just going to keep this column uh, for the relevant files which are left over now and remove the rest of the columns so right click and say remove other columns and you see a double headed arrow right here i'm just going to say combine files and in just about a moment it's going to give me a box and the box says that hey i'm trying to combine files what is your example file that means can i pick up the first file as my example file what it'll do is it'll go inside the first file and take a look at the columns oh yeah i understand first column is date oh okay i understand second column is customer so this is what is going to be considered as an example file and rest all of the files are going to be combined as per the first file and it asks you that hey where is your data in every single file so my data is on sheet number one and i say on ok and uh, in just about a few seconds it's going to go inside every single file and combine the files and give it to you all the files together and you can see that all my files have been combined now when i say close and load this data is going to come right inside my uh, my excel from power query to my excel take a look it's going to create a new sheet and if i just take a look at the drop down i have 2005 data 6 data 7 data and 8 data and 590 rows have been loaded in power query all right now let's just test we were trying to create two things the first thing was we were trying to create a master which we have successfully created the second thing that we were trying to do is that hey let's just see that if i place another 2009 file in the folder does it get automated or not so let's just take a look so i'm just going to go into shared files i don't have 2009 so let me just create 2009 in fact let me just copy 2008 and paste it one more time and call this as 2009 and also additionally i have to open this and i have to change the dates so i'm going to add another column sorry add another column and add 365 days to it which makes it 2009 copy that and then paste it right here and then delete this column and let me just save this file and close it now this is my 2009 file now assume that i just got it from somewhere somebody emailed it to me i downloaded this information from the web um, or server and i have placed this in my folder now what do i expect out of my power query i expect power query to repeat the same process again so go into the folder apply those filters that i applied remain with the intel in the uh, the files that i need and add them and append them into this database so as of now i have 590 rows with four years of data i should have the fifth year as well how do i do that right click and i just say refresh and let's just take a look it's 753 rows loaded let's also reconfirm in the filter do we have nine data yes absolutely we have 2009 data so that's really awesome about power query now that's just one part of the problem now this is um so good and sweet until unless you have absolutely the same kind of structure in in uh, power query so you just take a look i was talking about two problems with the same data structure now in the next video i'm going to speak about the next problem that how do you actually combine files uh, in a more real-time world where the data structures is not the same so sometimes you get some this type of data and then you have multiple files with different types of data structure data structure meaning the columns are not the same there is one empty column in the middle uh, the column headers are not the same there are a few extra columns how do you deal with those anomalies and still combine the files make power query work and not only just make a master database also set this up for automation all right thanks for watching this and if you have any questions please put them down below and do stay tuned in and i'm going to be discussing with uneven data structure in the next video thanks for watching take care bye, -bye.